Hello networkers, I'm excited to introduce a new training package that is different from most of our other training courses. This training package is focused on disaster recovery for network engineers and IT professionals. Let me share what you will learn in this course. In 2020, with the pandemic of COVID-19 increasing remote-based work to even cyber threats, business continuity is important. For example, the company Garmin, which is known for having one of the best running watches, suffered a massive outage due to a ransomware attack where all of their services plus call center was affected. They were down for almost a week and it resulted in them paying the ransom to resume their services. This was the best case for why disaster recovery is critical for a business. Professionally, I have several years of experience with disaster recovery with being part of a DR team, involved with the planning process and deploying a backup data center network. Based on my experience, I have organized those details in this course. This course is more with the DR planning steps and process and the type of information to gather. And with that information, choosing what DR model and networks can be considered, then presenting that in a DR report with those recommendations. In this course, you will learn about the recommended planning and preparation steps for disaster recovery, which includes the critical application services, the business components, the business requirements, and the network topology. You will learn about the possible disaster recovery models, which can be used to determine the type of DR networks that can be used. You will learn how to build a real-world disaster recovery report that you can use for your own DR projects which will list the business requirements, the application services that are important, along with those considerations, and providing the recommended DR network for the business. I will provide you the original source files that you can use as a template for your own DR projects, which you can always expand upon. You will see a walkthrough of an actual customer project that I worked on based on the planning steps that we will cover and how the DR network was determined. This will provide an example for how you can use these steps for building your own DR plan and network. Even though this course is mostly based on teaching you the DR planning process and building the DR report, you will also learn how you can build test DR networks in GNS3 during a development stage. This includes learning about how a practical backup data center can be used and configured for disaster recovery. This is based on one of my biggest projects for disaster recovery. In that video topic, I will discuss what a backup data center can look like, what was determined, the requirements, and I will even show you how it can be configured for disaster recovery. That will be an extra bonus for you to experience in this course. So there are many areas that we'll be covering. By the end of this course, you'll be able to perform the necessary steps to understand your requirements and the critical application services and how you can use that information for building a recommended disaster recovery network that can be deployed in the environment. You can get more information at rodhub.net.